what's going on guys welcome back once again it's me Molt. super stoked to be here with you guys today back in my office from the holidays i really hope you guys had a great christmas had uh just a good time with family even if you don't celebrate it i hope that you just had a restful weekend um at that so what are we gonna do today guys we're back we already know about the electro wizard challenge we can actually go ahead and just upgrade this guy we got two of them so i'm super stoked about that we got close on um some other ones i got 11 wins a couple of times uh, that's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down. We got 11 wins a couple of times, um, which was awesome. But at the same time, it was miserable <laughs> because we were so close and yet so very far away. So what are we doing today, guys? I can also upgrade my Elite Barbarian um, to level 12. Okay, perfectly. They're perfectly level 12 now. Um, obviously, we still have to go. Oh, no, they're not. 798. <laughs> obviously, we still have to get them up to max, but everybody's using these right now. I, I made a video the other day on how to counter them. Um, so today, we're going to make a deck using them. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make a deck using the Elite Barbarians. Um, I see a lot of people use them with the Hog, um, Royal Giant, things of that sort. Let's go ahead and replace our Electro Wizard, and I might bring in a, um, a defense here instead of the minor um and then we'll go with another cycle card here as well and we're gonna make this pretty cheap okay so this is gonna be 2.8 um do i want the tornado yes i do want the tornado do i want the tornado guys i don't know <laughs> let's actually replace the tornado with no i need a zap spell is what i need i need a zap real bad so we'll go throw a zap in here that's gonna make it even cheaper um, the only thing is we're gonna pretty much have to save our elite barbarians for defense and then turn them into offense If we use them offensively, we could run into trouble when it comes to defense So, um, we're just gonna do all live battles today. Leave a like for that, right? Yeah, no replays We're just gonna go after it. We're gonna experiment. We're gonna see how we do We are still playing on the ladder um, And uh, so that's always a little bit more It's a little harder to experiment on the ladder, but it, we're it, <laughs> We haven't pushed in so long because of the Electro Wizard challenge that honestly we'll probably be facing some lower level um, characters like this, characters, some lower level people like this, um, level 11. So um, we'll see what he ends up bringing with this push right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kite this, um, kite this knight around and we're going to go ahead and kill this princess. And um, then honestly, watch this, we can, oh man about to say we can go ahead and cycle back through we'll go ahead and let those uh fire spirits do their thing and then elite barbarian should take him out pretty quickly he is still going to get off two full shots and then the elite barbarians are going to come in and they should do a little bit of work over there um let's go ahead and drop off our hog rider as well um and the elite barbs are going to get up in there they're going to tank a little bit for him and that tower is going to be done so hogs and elite barbs work really well together obviously um, I'm not gonna drop off anything else quite yet. I'm gonna bring my mic over here a little bit closer um, We are gonna log her obviously Right about now just wanted to make sure she was gonna drop anything. She doesn't get off a shot there So we're good to go. There's his RG. We're gonna have to freeze it and Boom 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 zap as well And uh, we're just gonna have to let the cannon take it out this time and it should nice right, so the cannon's gonna take it out even though he's a level 11 guys he has a level 12 uh royal giant so generally like level 11s are gonna have higher level uh higher level cards or at least the ones up here that you're gonna face and so often guys it's ridiculous they um I I i've known people to go back and like just start accounts and just upgrade these cards or just gym these cards things like that you go ahead and log all of that away and, oh come on get that princess too nice that was good i like that a lot oh i like that a lot we're gonna go ahead and go here and zap oh come on zap. lately guys i'm not even kidding you lately whenever i've tried to um whenever i've tried to zap the um whenever i've tried to zap the sparky it literally just hasn't worked it's just failed <laughs> like i w i try and wait to the last second which is not what you want to do um nice he's gonna do that he's gonna set this up perfectly for me so we can go here and there and let's see if we can freeze it as well come on freeze it yes that's what i'm talking about that was a strong freeze right there guys that was a strong freeze and let's see if we can take out this princess as well nope we are going to be able to take out that tower though come forward princess 
He's not going to come forward, but it's all right. That tower is down. Go ahead and drop this guy off. Go ahead and zap this. Go ahead and go here. And that's going to be a W for us against the Royal Giants. So the thing with this deck, obviously we just made it. I don't really know um, how well it's going to be against the level 13 or anything like that. But the key is going to be using them defensively and then turning them into an offense. That's how it is a lot of times with big cards like that. Um, because since that is pretty much my only defense, I have to be careful. Yes, I have the cannon, but his fire spirits took that cannon out super quick, especially once the cannon was already targeted on the, targeted on the Royal Giant. Um, so I guess we're, obviously, since this is all level 11 stuff, hopefully we can face a level 12 or level 13, but we should be able to get through these fairly quickly. He's going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to go ahead and zap right there and uh, get him rolling for us. And he's not going to get off a single shot. That's fine with me. Uh, what you got for us, buddy? What you got for us? We'll go ahead and go right here and uh, and get some uh, get some skeletons up in there. Go ahead and do this. Let's see if we can go ahead and make them chase. Uh, let's see if we can make them chase. Her. Oh, nice! He's got dang a level three is in a level as a level eleven. Nice, dude. I support that. That's awesome. Good for you, man. Good for you, my dude. I'm proud of you, man. That's awesome. That just shows you guys that there are really, really good players um, pretty far. To oh, yes. One of them's going to make it. Nice. No, don't go for the cannon. Nice. Dang it. <laughs> that was well played. That was well played. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can make them chase over here. All you guys come on. Oh, man. I put them in the wrong lane, guys. And I don't know why I just put that, that ice spirit right on top of them. That wasn't, that wasn't well played at all. Um, so he has his giant that we need to worry about, obviously. I think that that hog is out of range um, of the pull. Yes, he is. Nice. So we can go ahead and go there. I'll go ahead and zap that as well. And hopefully our hog rider can get off some good shots. Now, we do have the barbarians to worry about, as you guys know. Um, but, hey, we'll go ahead and draw him over here. And we'll go right there. Oh, wow, a balloon. That's not good. Well played, my dude. Holy cow, we're in a lot of trouble here, guys. Let's go ahead and zap this. Bip. And so the problem there was the location of my cannon. Now that we know that he has that, come on. Oh, wow. That could have been way worse. Oh, that could have been way worse. Um, all right, so he's going to start off with it right there. I, I don't know why. I literally don't know why I just logged that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a cannon down now real close right here. Um, and then that will eventually will be. Now we're going to. Oh, get out of here, dude. We're going to be able to cycle through. I'm gonna go ahead and just put down our elite barbs now, especially since he's kind of messing around. And we're gonna be able to draw um, that balloon over and hopefully take it all out very quickly. There we go, cannon is still alive. Now we can go ahead and drop off our hog rider because he dropped off all of his stuff too early. Oh wow, no, no! Take it out, take it out hog, there we go, that's gonna be it. And one more shot over there. Oh, nope, we weren't able to get it. That's all right. We'll just go ahead and cycle through. Um, uh, I don't know if a zap and a log will take that out. Yeah, it will. So we'll go ahead and just do that and go ahead and draw him on over here. And that's going to be game for us. Um, so that, that's not a bad deck. And he's got a level 3 Electro Wizard. Andre Munez. Muno? I don't know how to say that. What? <laughs> um, he did better than we did in the Electro Wizard Challenge. So if you're watching this video, congrats, dude. That's awesome. Guys, let me know. Honestly, don't lie, okay? Because I know the comment section is a very easy place for people to lie because you're hiding behind a keyboard on your phone. Honestly, let me know how many Electro Wizard challenges you won. Um, I didn't play that many. Uh, I probably played like eight or so. Um, and uh, I was hanging out with my family a lot. I was like in the living room, like talking to people playing. Probably wasn't too focused, but I'm just happy we were able to get two. Um, that we were able to get two down. So let's keep on rolling here with this. Hopefully we can uh, face ourselves a level 12 at least. There we go. So um, level 12, this is definitely um, worth it. And I, guys, I like how this deck cycles. So I love cycle decks, as you guys know. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What are we going to get after this? We're going to get a log. Okay, so we got Cannon to go down. Um, and that's going to take him out. I'm not too sure what he's going to do here. Even if he zaps, it's not going to be good for him. Let's go ahead and keep our skeletons alive. Um and boom we will go ahead and zap and that's going to distract one of them so that the hog gets off two shots nice nice let's go ahead and do this yeah there we go 
And we'll go ahead and make our night chase over here. There we go. And we're going to go, uh, boom, Elite Barbs right here. Oh, nice. And it's going to freeze the Hog Rider. Hog's going to go down. Elite Barbs are about to head over there and do some serious damage. Um, that's, I mean, that's a good, that's a good counter to it. But still, we're going to be able to do some good, some good, good damage right there. We're going to follow that up real quick with a Hog because we know he's super low on Elixir. Um, and he may drop off. Okay, so he's going to have to drop off a Knight, guys. He didn't have enough for his Barbarians. So that's going to be big for us. We were able to do, we were able to do a lot of damage right there. Um, his Hog Rider isn't really in cycle right now. I'm going to go ahead and distract the Knight right over here, just like I did last time. Um, and just have him go around. He's going to be kited. And uh, eventually he will come back. Uh, <laughs> but he's going to follow all the way around right there, which is so funny to me. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go Elite Barbs here. Um, even though I've been saying this whole time that I just want them to be defense, we're going to go ahead and throw them down there and, uh, and get a log going as well. So that was the, that, that right there was what I didn't want to happen, guys. Um, we're gonna have, there we go. We are able to take out his tower over there. We have that, we have those skeletons on the hog rider. He's still gonna get off a lot of damage. But look at this, the skeletons are gonna head over to the ice wizard. And now we're gonna be able to push again. I'm not sure if he has his barbarians ready. He does not. That is awesome. We're gonna be able to do a lot of damage right there as well. Um, let's go ahead and throw a cannon down just to have down here. And boom, we're gonna log. And oh, here comes a sparky. That'll be fun for us. Let's go ahead and come right here with this. And once again, we're going to go all of this, all of this, all of this. Let's get another cannon down just to have down, guys. We'll go ahead and log as well. And there goes one waste. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and he's going to do that. And now we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And we are going to zap. And did it seriously get off another shot? Dude, I swear, man. I'm, I, I honestly feel like I'm using my zap at the appropriate time. But clearly I'm not. Like, clearly I'm not. <laughs> Zap, get her out of here. There we go. And that's going to work out well for us. Eight seconds left for him. Going to go ahead and just distract here. Even if he drops off a hog, we'll be fine because we have our cannon in cycle. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, maybe maybe I'm like I'm releasing at the correct time, but obviously the, the, the delay of the zap is what's making me miss it, and the Sparky's still getting off shot. So... I guess I need to just deal with the fact that I'm not going to be able to stop the entire five second cycle. I might just have to stop three seconds or something like that. Um, but this deck's working well for us, guys. That was against a level 12 right there. Here's another level 12, Roy S. from the Lebanese Kings. Um, and let's just go ahead and start off right here. Uh, give him a thumb. Oh, oops, give him a thumbs up. I didn't mean to mute him. Um, what you got for us? Oh, okay, so that's what you got. And yeah, he's going to get off a couple shots right there. We'll go ahead and, uh, what you got for me, my man? Let's go right here. And that should kill the majority of them. And as long as our tower can turn around, we'll be good. There we go. Nice. All right, let's keep those, let's, let's keep those skeletons in play, guys. Even though they're just one of your skeletons. Oh, man. One? All right, we got off one shot. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. We'll go ahead and drop off our ice spirit here. Yeah, and zap. Go. Ice spirit. Okay, here's my thing about ice spirits. I want you guys to, to let me know this down below. Because I've faced people, and they... Oh, my goodness. I literally have nothing for that. We're literally... We're about to just go. We're about to just go after this, guys. Because I can't do anything about it. We have to log all that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I don't have anything for this. We got to draw... Come up, Come over here, Mega Minion. Cannon's gonna have to do work right there. I should have put the cannon in front of the tower. Um, how is that cannon still not killed that miner? Was that a joke? I feel like it literally had to have been a joke. Okay. Um, I've seen people drop off ice spirits and they've completely, like, it's hitting all of the minions. All of them. For me, I don't think, I honestly can say this. I honestly don't think that I've ever hit every single minion that there was. Um,. Which is, is extremely frustrating for me. Let's see if we can draw her over. And then we'll go right here. And hopefully the Ice Spirit will kill them. Yes, nice. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make this Mega Minion target the Hog. Yeah. And come over here. Zap. Oh! I needed that Zap too. This guy's deck, man. I literally just don't have anything for it. I don't have anything for it. Um, did I not hit the Miner just in? 
I literally think that I just missed the miner entirely, guys. Alright, we gotta go hard after this tower now. We know exactly what he's gonna throw down. Here they come. Go ahead and log it all away. The there we go. That's what we like to see. Alright, now. Yeah, I know that it was well played. Okay, so we're gonna go and draw right here. And we're gonna go ahead and zap all of that. We're gonna go right here as well. We're gonna try and keep this uh, into a good location. This is bad, this is bad news, this is bad news, Bears. This is not good news. There we go, slow all that down. Guys, how in the world is our cannon not killing a miner? It's, I honestly feel like the miner's getting off just as many shots. And here he goes with his Skarmy. Oh no! There it is, zap. And our skeletons are on the tower as well. Um, I'm gonna keep on pushing here, guys, and we're gonna make him freak out here just a little bit. No, don't go! Oh, well, that's game over for us, guys. Literally can't do anything now. Zap. And come here. There's a fireball. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. So, uh, something that I need to change immediately about this deck, guys, is um, obviously is having. Uh, having a okay cool so you're gonna go ahead and do that he's just cycling through to his fireball at this point you go ahead and go right here knock him out and zap this and that's game over so um this deck would be, be yeah thumbs up to you uh for beating a deck with no air defense what am i doing without air defense in my deck guys <laughs> the fact that we even were able to compete with him that long is absurd so we gotta get some archers in here um, let's replace the Ice Spirit with it. That was a 2.6 deck, which is which is gnarly. Um, crown Chest is done. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into another battle here. So, Archers still aren't going to be the best, but we can use them as we distract with the, um, with the Ice Golem. So, let's go ahead and split them back here in the back. We need to cycle through to our Hog Rider. Uh, this deck is, is working. You guys can comment down below if you want to and let me know um, what you would change about it. Um, let's go right here. Uh, I thought I was going to distract both of them. Alright, so you probably didn't want to do that, but that's fine. And zap all of that. There we go. Kill that Mega Minion. Nice. Get there. Oh, nice. They're going to get off a couple shots for me. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so we'll go ahead and get some archers down here as it gets distracted by this cannon. And go here. Don't you dare. There we go. Turn it around. Um, so level 11, so obviously it is a little bit <laughs> a little bit of an advantage for us. Um, but hey, what are you going to do about it, right? It's not my fault. And let's go ahead and go here. And yeah. And he's going to go ahead and jump over there as well. These elite barbs are going to do a little bit of damage to him. But he's actually going to get off a good number of shots there. Let's go ahead and go up here. And let's drop off these archers as well as that cannon. Um, and the archers finish, finish uh, the elite barbarians off. So I haven't seen what level his are. Ours are 12. Um, his are probably, honestly, 11 or 10. Archers, stay in the back. What are you doing, you noobs? Noob archers. There we go. I like that, though. Actually, I guess they weren't noobs because one of them survived. Get a shot off. Nice. All right, so he's going to do the same thing this time. Oh, he's not going to have enough elixir. So we're going to save this up. And you got to be careful building that up, my dude. Nice. Look at that, guys. That was beautiful. I like that a lot. All right, so now, now let's just go ahead and build a cannon because we have extra elixir. It's double overtime. Here comes his golem. Which is cool. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and send in archers and our um, elite barbarians. Let's go ahead and log them away. They're still going to get out some good damage, but our archers are going to do a really good job over here for us. Um, our cannons should do good work. If we can get our elite barbs back here, then we'll be looking really good as well. Let's get this archer, these archers down, and we'll drop off another cannon over here. Uh, boom, we're going to have to go here, and we're going to have to go here, and we're going to have to log away, and there we go, doing okay, but still, these elite barbs are doing work to us, guys, uh, we're going to have to do this, nice, that worked out really well, I'm okay with that, I am definitely okay with that, and now we'll go ahead, oh no, 
Shoot, he's about to take this tower now. <laughs> that was a close one. All right, so I had to, I had to bring in some air defense. Uh, that probably, that definitely would have made a game against the Lava Hound uh, different. I think we would have won if we had those archers in there that whole time. But that's the deck. Y'all can comment down below. Also, whatever ones you're using with the Elite Barbarians. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on. All right, peace.